So in this video, we will be talking about the DLL injection. In the previous videos, we have seen how to inject the shellcode in the uh, remote process. Uh, in this video, we will be seeing how to inject the DLL uh, inside another process. So if you have not watched my previous videos, go and watch them. Uh, but still, uh, I will be explaining the previous uh, the functions we have written previously uh, briefly so that we can be on the same page. So first function is open process so this will be uh, this function will open the process and we will get the handle so we can do some operations on that process and the first one is desired access so uh, here you have this uh, access rights for the process so what you have to, what you want to do on this process with this uh, controls so process all access so you will get the all access and with this process create process you can create the new process new threads and duplicate handle and you can query for information and etc here we have the vm operation read write so these three uh, permissions are required if you want to perform operations on the virtual uh, address space of the process so that's why we'll be including these three as well and the second parameter is the uh, can be false we don't want any inheritance handle and the third parameter is process id id of the process we want to open the handle so after getting the handle we will be allocating some memory using the virtual alloc x function so this will uh, take the process handle and the address where we want to allocate so we will be sending this a uh, null uh, if you send null at this uh, second parameter that means operating system will automatically decide where is the uh, free space of this much size. So we will be also specifying how much size of memory region we want to allocate. And that much amount of size will be allocated in the free uh, space of the process virtual address space by the operating system. And the last two parameters are allocation type and production type. So allocation type you want to uh, enable the on-demand paging or you want to reserve uh, and commit so we'll be using the reserve and commit and also we'll be using the production type so this production type are like uh, page read write execute and read only and write only etc so we'll be using the page read write execute because we want to uh, uh, execute that memory region as well So after creating uh, that memory region in that virtual address uh, space other process, we'll be writing some actual data using the function called write process memory. So it will take the process handle and the base address at, at which address you want to start writing. And what you want to write that is the byte array and how much you want to write the size. And the output is number of bytes written. So if I want to write 100 bytes, so the output will be the 100 uh, variable or uh, integer variable holding 100. So after writing the pro uh, in the previous videos, what we have done is we have written the uh, shell code into this uh, process uh, virtual address space using this write process memory and at that uh, address. Uh, we have executed that shellcode as a function but in this video what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use a function called load library a so it will load the, uh, the file name so you can see the parameter is the file name and this can be the dealer so you can use this load library a uh, to load a dealer into a process and this resides in uh, kernel32.dll so very convenient because the kernel32.dll uh, is like almost uh, imported by almost all the processes because this kernel32.dll contains the core functionality of uh, any process so that's why uh, every uh, many process import this uh, kernel 32 dll automatically when they uh, when they start so what we need to do is we need to search this load library a functions uh, address in that process virtual address space 
so you can do that using the get proc address so the module uh, we need to first get the uh, get module handle so first we will be using this function get module handle and we will be getting the handle for this module and this module should be loaded in the uh, process uh, virtual address space so then uh, we will be creating a new thread uh, then we will be finding the uh, sorry, we will be finding the address of this row library a function and we will be passing that to this create remote thread so we are basically creating a thread uh, that will execute the uh, specified function so first one is the process handle and second one are thread attributes we can specify null uh, these will be uh, inherited from the parent process and the stack size we can uh, define 0 and the LP start address is the address of the function you want to execute uh, of this thread and this is the parameter and the creation flags so whether you want to uh, start the thread immediately after creating or you just want to suspend so we'll be starting our thread immediately after uh, the creation and the last one is the thread id the output uh, parameter so we'll be getting the thread id as the uh, into this variable and also we we'll get the handed to the, to the thread so i uh, already defined all of these functions here so here you can see uh, importing the canada to our dll and we have this open process desired access handle id so I have already uh, uh, defined these so to save some time and virtual alloc x here you can see right process memory create remote thread so here you can see these are the constants so we are opening the process uh, in the desired axis so we are we need to send some flags that is create thread query information vm operation read write and second parameter is false and this is uh, the argument we need to give the pid uh, process id as an argument then it will be uh, placed here so okay we have opened the process now we need to allocate some memory virtual alloc x so the first one is the proc handle and the second one is the you can say int pointer dot zero so we are telling the operating system to choose a free region of the size the size okay how much we want to allocate that is uh, the length of the string dealer path so here you can see uh, in my folder so this is the character dealer i have generated using meta sprite it's a simple command msfnm uh, command is equals to calc.exe windows exe architecture x86 so when it's run it will just pop up the calculator so uh, sh hold shift and right click on this and copy as path you will get the path of the dll and assign this to a variable and this much amount of length we want to create the in the address space of the process because we will be sending this uh, value as the parameter to the load library a function so if see here you can see the string so we need to load this module and this uh, start address points to the load library a and the parameter to this function points to by lp parameter so this lp parameter will be the the path to the dll and lp start address will be the pointer to this load library a so this thread executes this function and with this as a parameter so obviously loading our dll and we need to i i have already converted this to bytes using this encoding uh, class and the path dot length gives the size so 
సో అలకేషన్ టైప్ యూ కెన్ సే మ్యామ్ కమిట్ మ్యామ్ రిజర్వ్ అండ్ రాష్ట్రన్ ఈస్ పేజ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ రీ డ్రైవ్ అండ్ ద రిటర్న్ టైప్ ఈస్ ద స్టార్టింగ్ అడ్రస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ క్రియేటివ్ మెమరీ స్పేస్ లెట్స్ ఏ స్టార్టింగ్ పిటిఆర్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ క్రియేటెడ్ స్పేస్ వీ నీడ్ టు రైట్ టు దట్ స్పేస్ యూజింగ్ ద రైట్ ప్రాసెస్ మెమరీ అండ్ ద ఫస్ట్ పారామీటర్ ఈస్ ద ప్రాసెస్ హ్యాండిల్ అండ్ సెకండ్ పారామీటర్ ఈస్ స్టార్టింగ్ అడ్రస్ వేర్ వీ వాంట్ టు రైట్ దట్ ఈస్ స్టార్టింగ్ పిటిఆర్ అండ్ ద థర్డ్ వన్ ఈస్ బైట్ అరే సో బైట్ అరే దిస్ ఈస్ ద పాత్ సైజ్ వీ కెన్ సే ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ స్ట్రింగ్ and the last one is the output parameter we can say uh, we can define integer bytes return variable and initializing it to zero now we need to pass reference bytes return so whenever this function executes it will uh, write this string to that uh, address and we will be getting the output the length of the bytes return to that uh, address so we can also print this uh, as bytes return so after writing the so after writing this one we need to get the proc address that is the precise address of this uh, function name so before that we need to get the uh, handle of this uh, uh, kernel that it was dll i think i have defined here so i have defined here so let's use this uh here what we are going to do is uh, uh we are imp- we are getting the module handle of the kernel that is dll so let's pass this kernel that is dll and the output is the handle so int pointer module handle and this module handle can be passed to this get proc address and module handle and what we want to search for the function that is load library a and also uh, if you observe we can see this is not a uh, uh and get proc address does not support unicode so that's why i have changed this uh, function definition to normal string so otherwise i would be uh, convert this to unmanaged uh, long pointer unicode string so i have got some errors so that's why then after uh, uh, searching in google i came to know that this function does not support unicode so the written type is uh, the function address function address so we got the function address we can pass that to create remote thread so let's go and create remote thread and the first one is the process handle and second one can be zero and stack size zero and the starting address so that is the function address and the next parameter is the parameter to this uh, function which is gets executed at this address uh, that is load library a and the parameter is 
our this starting pointer so we have the bytes written at this starting pointer address and the next one is creation flags it can be zero and reference to uh, thread uh, so we can say int ptr thread handle So output is thread ID, right? So okay. Uh, and the return type is uh, this thread handle. So we can print out the thread ID. So I think our function Uh, successful okay so I think we are good to go also remember uh, you can just uh, change this to 64 bit as well And we need to send the uh, process ID as an argument. So let's open this 32 bit application. Because uh, our DLL is 32 bit. So the new PowerShell is 18640. So 18640 and if you run this we should see the calculator and we can see the calculator got popped up and we can also see the bytes written 82 and the new thread id so this is how you do the normal dll injection you can also write the gui for this selecting the dll file and the process and injecting into that process